Alright guys, this is Tiny Goliath welcoming you to some Legend of Zelda The Breath of the Wild. I know I just said the, but that's besides the point. We can do this, l no not later. I'm going to set up a new game over at previous save data. Lower the volume just a little bit on the game. Because I can do that now, which is nice. I like the features of this. I'm using a brand new capture card. It's the, um, here, let me get the, uh, no, it's not the Relive Gaming HD. Where is it? Where's my manual? It doesn't matter. It's a cutscene. I'll be quiet. But I don't want to. Mommy, I don't want to go to school. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. This 10 decibels should work. Okay. I'm just going to fiddle around with the microphone test settings here and uh, see where it goes. That's minus 7.8 decibels. That'll just match that. Let's do minus 3 decibels. There we go. <sighs> Welcome to the world, Link. Yay, no input lag. Woohoo, I'm happy. Ooh, Link is jittery. Hmm. Oh my. It's a tablet. That is a Sheikah slate. Mm -hmm. Take it. Okay. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Ooh. I was sleeping? I was sleeping? Are you sure what I are you sure I wasn't dead? This is saving to my hard drive. Sheikah Slate, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You never see, you've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Oh, really? That's a cool noise. I forgot about that noise. worn trousers. These old trousers are threadbare in spots, but they are surprisingly comfortable. The legs are a bit too short, though. Inventory. Use this on your Nintendo Switch pad. Yes, please. <laughs> this may or may not be a 100% run, but I do definitely want to work on getting the, um, or it probably will be a 100% run, except for the, uh, the the poops. You may you've heard of the poops, right, people? Um, a thin shirt made long ago. It's coming apart at the seams, but it's better than nothing. The sleeves are a bit on the short side, just like a lot of U.S. Army uniforms back in the day, right? Mm, there's Link. There's the Link I know. <laughs> 
100 year, 100 something like 100 years later and link is like what i'm instinctually reaching for a sword but there's no sword oh my oh god i i, I, I. Oh, items oh Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. The way. It will show me the way. Show me the way, Link. Oh, tablet of blue glowiness. Kind of like my PC used to be. Any, any background noise you hear right now may or may not be the fans of my computer. I can always uh, change that later on. In fact, I might even be able to unplug the fans for right now. Because they are noisy. Link. Hmm? You are the light. Our light that must shine upon high rule once again. Okay. Now go. Be free. Be free as a bird. Fly like an eagle. Do, 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 do. Oh god, I've forgotten the controls already. It's been a while since I've played this, guys. I have not played this game to completion yet. So this should be an interesting run through. The reason why I wanted to do this as a video is because um, it's a great game. It's fun. It has a lot of elements of Zelda, except for the dungeon part. That's the that's the only disappointing thing about it. Mm, the Temple of Time. If I'm not mistaken, that is the Temple of Time. True Branch. A wooden branch such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Okay. I am happy that they give you a little bit of a tutorial to start with. Food! Hylian Shroom, a common mushroom found near trees around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. And I think it's been proven that you can beat this... You, I think you can beat this game without climbing. But that's not something I'm going to be working towards. I'm just going to be playing the game as I would play the game myself. So if there's anything I miss that you guys want to... If any of you guys are currently playing or have played the game and I miss something, please let me know in the comments. I will appreciate that greatly. Um. Oh yes, oh yes, I'm so strong. Oh yes, meow. Features. Crush the old man. Aw. I could technically just go exploring right now, but I would like to get story elements done. Nailed it. I have a feeling I'm, gonna, I'm going to be making these videos slightly lo uh, considerably longer than my other videos, so expect maybe hour-long videos, depending on how the uh, compression goes. I might try to compress these as much as I possibly can. 
I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some old, some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we? Answering a question with a question, that's fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. Can I have this apple, sir? I beg your pardon. I do believe that was my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I cannot resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple on an open <clears throat> an apple and an open flame makes such a circular treat. Can I walk in this? Yes. Yes, I can. Link. What? What? Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. I don't know. Zelda, please, no. Okay. Follow the Sheikah slate. Open it now. Woodcutter's axe. A woodcutter's tool of choice for felling trees is formidable. Its formidable weight and uneven balancing make it a slow and inefficient weapon. Just like this stick. Oh, I'm gonna shove this stick somewhere. No, it's gonna hurt. Ah! Huh? Woo! Hightail lizard. A lizard found throughout Hyrule. It's a bit slow to react at times, but if given a chance to escape, it will dart off quickly. Cook it with monster parts for a speedy for a speed boosting elixir. Also known as drugs. I'm gonna try keeping this playthrough kind of kid friendly. Hello. <laughs> Pause time and eat the lizard? No, I don't want to eat the lizard. Oh god. Oh, there we go. When did I pick up another stick? Woo! Home run! Bokoblin Fang, a tooth obtained from a Bokoblin. It is worn down and not very sharp, but it is still pretty hard. Cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. Bokoblin Horn, a severed horn of a Bokoblin, a creature often encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but can be tossed into a, a stew to, with some critters to make an elixir. Again, children, don't do drugs. It's a bad idea. Oh, hello, Choo Choo. Yeah. I always want to call it a Choo Choo, though. It's a Choo Choo. It's so cute. Oh. A gelatinous substance that came from a Choo Choo. It is unstable in its state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulate. Oh God, a stimulation will change its form. Let's increase the volume a little bit here on the game. Okay, where to now? 
I guess we can go over to the Temple of Time, maybe? Or let's maybe just... Let's just explore a little bit. Let's just have some fun. What is this? Boko Club. A group of Coblin Club made of cl to clobber small prey. It is essentially a stick, so its durability is low. Okay, good to know. Hang on a second. There we go. Ow. I guess so. Oh, I, can throw, I forgot I could throw my weapons. Unlimited power! He man! You can save car! 13% or more on car insurance! <laughs> I saw I re I rewatched that advertisement for Geico the other day and it was it was it was it was something so stupid too. Ah. Acorn often found on the ground near trees. Squirrels adore n adore this nut. So you may have a co you may have competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. I know there's something underneath here. I don't like what's underneath here either. <laughs> Food! I can't hunt you guys right now. I'm so sorry. Me being the typical Canadian that I am, I say sorry to everything. Oh, wait. No, I can hunt you right now. Okay. I don't need to read all the descriptions. I will only, I guess, maybe read the descriptions. Torch. This torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flames will be extinguished until you light it again. I should, I should probably read the descriptions. I'm sorry, I missed the bow and arrows. Um, I will try to read the descriptions for the fir first time I ever pick something up. Um. Just in case that is helpful for you. I will try to be as thorough as I possibly can with this walkthrough. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm currently enjoying myself. It's been a while since I've had my Switch out. I intend to get a wired controller for my Switch here. So it's a little bit more comfortable than this Switch plastic doohickey that you put your... Uh, um... <laughs> your uh, Joy-Cons in, and I'm going to be getting a couple of new, uh, I've got a new game installing as you saw, maybe, no, no, you haven't seen the main menu, I've, hang on, let me just pause this, I've got Darkest Dungeon installing on here, even though I know it probably runs a lot better on the PC, but really, what's the difference, right? So I may or may not do some videos of that, um, it's a dungeon, it's a 2D dungeon crawler with a lot of random number generation. Any lag you see in the game here is primarily due to my Switch, and the game being still not 100% optimized. Run away! Run away, little Volcoblin! Fear me! You heathen! You bumbling buffoon! Tasty, tasty morsels! I might as well take the things as they come, right? How heavy do you think this rock is? It's gotta be a couple tons. Or at least a couple thousand pounds. Jeez. Link, you, you strong, boy. <laughs> Gonna collect as much of everything as I can. <coughs> as I can. What are you? Hello, Hyrule Herb. This healthy herb grows 
abundantly in the plains of Hyrule. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. Okay. It's like I remember having two bundles of 100 apples on here. This was it was it was a lot of fun. Just like nom 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 nom. Um, just numbing the hell out of the. I don't need another Boko Club. I've got four of them, I'm happy. Hello, my friend. Huh? Hylian trousers, the traditional dress of Hyrule. This plain fabric the plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable, and their high durability makes them ideal for travelers. Good to know. That means I can get rid of these if I really wanted to. Huh? Oh, that's how I throw it. Okay. Oh, God! Chew! I don't think so. Maybe we should listen to Zelda. So enough exploring, let's get on with the story. Let's go do some puzzles. Fight some mini bosses and Yeah. Let's go see what this game is about. <laughs> I have to do this. I'm sorry, guys. Nothing quite like a good steak, huh? <laughs> flaw. That's a flaw. I, I found a flaw in your game, Nintendo. You could throw you could throw uh, barrels through the these. Oh, you could even walk through them. I had never noticed that when I first started playing. Oh, okay. Maybe that's too hard for the switch to process. No, no, no. No, no, no. You don't see anything. Go back to sleep. Whoops. Okay, let's go... Yeah, let's go where the thing is telling me to go. Um... Hang on, that's frog. Frog! Frog, get back here. For a frog, a quick frog that can be found hopping in near water. Cook it with monster parts to draw its speed boosting effects. Keep in mind, cooking in this game requires you to cook them in a specific order in order for them to be efficient. Traveler sword, a very common sword, often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It is fairly durable, but will, uh, but a bit unreliable against monsters. Boko shield, a bokoblin made shield created by attaching a handhold to any flat tree bark picked up off the ground. It is pretty shoddy, so don't expect it to last very long. Da, 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 da. 
Place the chicest slate in the pedestal. Yes. Come on, Link. We don't have time for this. Local, <laughs> is this a brewery? Damn, I could do something right now, even though it's only what? Let me check the time here. It's only 11:40 a.m. At the time of my recording, right at this moment. <laughs> Regional map extracted. It's a trap. Hundred years. The beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Oh, my. Okay. Yeah, I I I did that once and well that's like one of like two hundred ways to die in this game. My snake was made! <laughs> oh god, that was totally worth it. Yes, this this is also the cartridge edition of the game. So I bought this day one when I bought my Switch. Sometime last October. I actually bought this for my birthday. So considering... Um, it's been like a year and a bit since I bought it. I've only played it probably for a total of probably 15 or so hours. I do have Skyrim for this, but I don't know where the cartridge is for it. So, I forgot to put it away. I, I had it on my desk here, but I forget where I put it on the desk. Because it's not cluttered up with a whole bunch of other shit. I wouldn't be surprised if it was on the floor somewhere. Like somewhere behind my desk, so I'd have to go crawling under there to find it. Oh! Oh! Heart attack on the stick! Oh! My, my. It would seem we have quite an enigma here. 
The tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I heard a voice. Oh. <laughs> well now, a voice, you say. And did you happen to recognize this voice? No. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle. Hmm. That is Calamity Gaddon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought this kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, that the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength through the moment it will unleash this, its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. I must ask you, ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. At some point, just not right now. I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep, those aren't cliffs, on s by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well... No death could be more certain or more foolish. Ooh. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, it would be quite another story. Paraglider? Ho oh. oh. Piqued your interest, have I? Well, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Mm. Worry not. I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Mm. Let's see now. How about it? How about I trade it for a bit of a treasure that slumbers nearby? Hmm. Come on, let me show me you something. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light? It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. <laughs> I would think such a place might have some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? A treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Alright! Woohoo! I don't. Uh, this is not hero mode. I don't remember there ever being a Bokoblin settlement here. Oh well. Metal Gear. That's not a Metal Gear. Does this one have a Metal Gear? No. Does this one have a Metal Gear? No? Okay. Sometimes they don't always uh, allow me to search them, because they have to be at like, a specific angle to get them. Ruby, a precious gem, red gem, mined from a large ore deposits found throughout Hyrule. Rubies contain the power of fire, and have fetched a high price since ancient times. 
That'll be edible. <laughs> she gets late confirmed. From now on, after this point, I will be skipping the uh, animation for this so it'll speed up the process. gotten used to the Xbox One controls. I forgot they're pretty much inverted on the... Uh, <laughs> they're inverted. If I could switch out the layout on an Xbox controller, I would totally do that. So it's all Nintendo all the time. To you who sits foot in the shrine, I am Omen Ao. Oh god, I didn't read that in time. Magnesis. Manipulate metallic objects, use objects using magnetism. Grab onto metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the, the magnesis rune. Objects held in a magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. Traveler's Bow, a small bow used by travelers for protection. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it can be used to attack foes from a distance. Okay, I get it, Nintendo. Stop. Honey, I'm home! <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to slam these shut. the resolve of a true hero. 
I am Omen Ao, the creator of this trial. I am humble monk, blessed with, with the sight of Goddess Hylia and de, de words. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of the Goddess Hylia, I allow me to bow, bow to be better, this gift upon you. Please accept the spirit orb. Oh God, my soul! His face. Watch his face. <laughs> spirit orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. Again, I will be skipping these in later, uh, in later episodes. I'm going to be calling it quits as soon as I get out of the shrine and talk to the old man. And then we'll see what happens from there. Seems you have managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? <laughs> Clairvoyance! <laughs> or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what isn't right before your own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. <laughs> but perhaps that's not true for everyone. <laughs> The appearance of those towers and the awakening of the shrine. Hmm. It is all connected to that sheikah slate you carry there on your hip. Do you mean? Ooh. It has been quite some time since I have seen that sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of, and the, of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is, it is interesting, however, to think that something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are tucked away in the numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you the my paraglider. So I need more now? Hmm. I said treasure, but I never said there would be any, only be one treasure. Whether it's one treasure or four, what's the difference for a young go-getter like yourself? Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you the trick of finding shrines. It is always better to survey the area by looking from a high point. To, let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that power again? Are you... Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I, had, I had the solid snake. I admire your enthusiasm, but allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah Slate. <laughs> See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke. The shrine you came from. And the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Mm. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Well, anyways guys, this has been an interesting beginning of the adventure. Um, in the next episode, we will be tackling those... Uh, remaining three shrines after ascending the tower once again. Um, so this has been Tiny Goliath and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more. And I will definitely see you all in the next video. Bye bye! Whoops. <laughs>